Do you have a cupboard of shame? If you're a photographer of a certain age and used to shoot film, you might have an awful lot of old negatives which have never seen the light of day. Perhaps you'd like to get some of them onto your computer, but it seems like a lot of work just to decide which, especially if you don't have the contact sheets or prints. But here's some good news. There's a pretty cheap and easy way to simplify things and speed the whole thing up. I'm going to show you how to take up to 36 photographs in one click of a shutter. All you need is your DSLR camera and a tripod, or a copy stand if you have one, plus a small flash gun and the means to fire it remotely, such as a basic flash extension lead or perhaps a radio trigger. Flash is perfect for duplication as its short duration prevents any vibration blur, even at high magnifications. Its intensity lets you use a small f-stop and a low ISO, and its light provides exactly the right colour balance for accurate colour rendition. You'll also need a medium-sized box with a white interior, such as an expanded polystyrene packing box. And lastly, a piece of white perspex to put on top, or even just some tracing paper on a sheet of glass. With this simple device, you'll be able to shoot a whole sheet of negatives in one go, whether 35mm, medium format or even large format. Better still, by using a close-up device, you can even make a digital image of just a single negative, whether black and white or colour, and of course, colour transparencies too. The quality will be as good as your camera can make it. All you have to do then is open the files in Photoshop, hit Ctrl I on a PC or Command I on a Mac, and there you have it a positive image of your whole sheet of negatives. We used to need an expensive copying machine to do this with film, as it was very difficult to get right. But in the digital era, you can make something up yourself for next to nothing and get perfect results. I'm going to show you both of these devices. You probably won't have the first one, but you should be able to make the second one with very little trouble. And with a bit of experimentation, there's no reason why you can't make great digital images from your old film photos that are of good enough quality for a large poster. So why not dig out those old colour slides or elderly negatives? Who knows what lost treasures they might contain? Keep watching. Here's how. 